Hi everyone. So I wanted to come on and share with you. I received my latest stamp from Daisy B. So Nina, oops, sorry, Nina Crafts. And if you follow me on Instagram, you will see I have put um, I had put this card a wee sneaky peek on there. So I wanted to share with you what I received. So the first thing that I got sent was this beautiful, I am in love with this. This one is probably my favourite one I've been sent this time. It is a French script background. It's a huge stamp. You can see I've been using it. Um, it's just gorgeous. You can use this for so many things. So she sent me that one. Then I got sent this. Oh, this is gorgeous as well. Adorned with flowers. Isn't she beautiful? And she's huge. So she can fill a whole stamp. But again, to me, even these parts here, you can, if you want to just use the flowers, you can just stamp it, cut it out, fussy cut it, and you've got some beautiful flower designs. Then we have this one, which is Be Unique. Isn't that cool? It's a totally different script to that one. And then Adorned with Flowers Border. So matching that looks like to me you can make frames with this as soon as i seen them my brain was like ping ping you can make this you can make that but again for me with my vintage florals i think that would just fit in perfectly so that's the border so that's the ones that i got sent so i'm going to show you quickly how i made this card so it's a kind of craft with me video um yeah so five by seven blank card pre-made card and what I'm going to do first of all is take the French script background. Wait till you see how this stamps it. It's just gorgeous. So comes on. These are photopolymer, really good quality stamps, guys, from Daisy B as always. I'm just going to put this on my block. Yeah. And use the distress oxide now i'm using the seedless preserves for this so I'll just stamp it up one thing um i have been doing lately is using a lot more colored ink because i wasn't i was just sticking to like my vintage photos and blacks and things but i really have lately been using a lot more in my colors so which is good because what's the point of having them if I didn't use them? I buy stuff and didn't use it, so I really have been trying to use them. So, stamp that down there. And don't worry if I've not pressed hard enough there, because she's going to cover up a lot of it anyway. Let me just get a piece of paper. I want to say thank you to everybody who has emailed me lately as well. Um... The support has just been amazing. I just get emails saying, you know, how much people get inspired from my channel and things like that. And it's, you guys inspire me. So it's just, it's just been lovely. I've had, I don't know, I've just had so many lately. Um, since I started uni and things, I've had a lot of support emails. And so thank you. I really do appreciate every one of them. And then we will just second generation stamp that there. Let's take off some of the ink. Okay. And I'm going to give it a wee dry because it's the oxide. It does take a wee bit longer to dry. So just a wee quick dry. Then I'm going to take the Distress Ink and the Antique Linen. just gonna just go in see that's a wee bit damp but do you know what that's all right it's actually all right it happened on the other one and I didn't mind it because it kind of makes it look like it's like watercolory so that doesn't need to fuss with me but try and drag it the one way well, I quite like that actually that's more than what was on the other one see we happy accident so Oh, I quite like that. And then I'm just going to take the antique one around the edge. There you go, discovered something else. I 
think most of the time that is how we we find out things because it is a wee happy accident. Right, let me give that another wee dry. You know what? I like that that much. That way that that's turned out. I'm actually going to add some spots of water on here. To make it look even more runny. Then lift it up. Encourage the water to run down a bit. Like that. Leave it for a second. Then I'm just going to grab a baby wipe. This one's a wee bit dry so that's alright. And just take off some of the excess water. And then dry it again. Well, that's really cool, actually. loving that so I'll use that technique again I found it by accident but I like it it just looks like it's been smudged and spilt on and pretty cool so then the next thing I'm going to do is take my beautiful adorned with flowers lady and I'm going to stamp her out so let's get her out of here oh shit I've actually put her back in the packet the wrong way so she's sticking it in the plastic. There we go. Let me just grab a sheet of card. Okay. Now she is really big. So you could use your stamping platform. I'm just going to use my large acrylic block. I think this is the Do Crafts. Yeah, Do Crafts. And then I'm going to stamp it out in black just because I want her to pop off the page. Stamp her up and then let's pop her down here. Now, if you wanted her facing the other way, you could stamp her in stay zone onto acetate and flip her, which would be pretty cool. So let's just make sure, because she's such a big stamp, make sure I've got all of it stamped down. Wow, look at that. And that cool? Really, really cool quality stamps. So then, I better dry her a wee bit as well because the Versafine definitely will smudge. So let's just make sure that it's dry-ish. Okay, now you could just go over her with a watercolour um, or do your watercolour first and then cut her out but I'm going to actually colour her in because she really does lend herself to get coloured in plus you could decoupage the flowers lots of things you can do with this stamp I'm sure you guys are already looking at her and got hundreds oops hundreds of your own ideas right so I am just going to quickly select, I'm using my Arteza real brush pens, I'm going to choose a pink, now if you want to fast forward this bit guys you can but I'm just going to really do it quickly so, and these pens make it possible to do it quick, they really do make you feel like you're painting 
Um, I say it all the time with them, I must be like a broken record, but they're so easy to use. So I'll just colour in some of the flowers in her hair. Like so. And I'm just going to make them all the one colour because they're all the same flower. So you could go in with your alcohol markers. I'm no in. <laughs> so I'm just putting it aside. You could go in with your alcohol markers and do all your shading and everything like that. But I'm not that good a colourist. So I do put some shading in sometimes. But I'm not like some of the guys here that are here on YouTube. Shading and colouring are absolutely amazing. So there you go, it's that one. So because I've got one already done, I'm not going to sit and make you watch me colour in. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video, I'll colour it in and I will come back. Actually, I've decided this one i done in full colour, but with this one I think I'm going to just do a wee bit of watercolour in with her. Just to make it a wee bit different. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm just going to grab a brown for her hair. Put some on my, this is just an acrylic block for stamping. Pop that on there. Grab my watercolour brush. This is the Arteza one that comes with the pens, which is cool because. Okay, so let's just give it a wee watercolour in. It's just a different effect and it's really fast as well. So we'll just water colour in some of our hair. And it means you can use any of your paints and things like that, get them in here, make it a bit mixed media. There you go, there's her hair. I like that. Sorry if you can hear my son shouting in the background. He's just came in for school. Then we will take a red and we'll give it a red rose. I just add a tiny dot of water to the, the pens. You don't have to even put them on neat once you put them on your block, but I find it makes them spread a bit easier as well. So we will just give her a red rose. And this stamp really pretty. And like I said, there is so much you can snip into it and use and emboss with it. Get all your embossing powders out. So she has a red rose. I'm going to do the calla lily in this yellow. Water and just mix it in there. It's really pretty, actually. Just mixed a wee bit with the brown, and it's just gave it a wee sort of skinny, skin typey colour. I'm going to actually use just a wee bit of that on her face because it's quite nice colour. Just to take the white away. Wee bit on her neck. That's cool. Like that. Then I'll take this orange pen and just go in and put a wee bit in there in the middle of the calla lily. Let's grab a green. Sometimes find these types of videos quite relaxing, just watching somebody colour in, so hopefully you guys do as well. A wee green leaf. I've 
list a wee bit of the calla lily there but I'm just going to put a tiny wee bit of yellow like that and just blend it out there you go so I will link you can purchase these beautiful stamps from Nina Crafts um, and I will link that down below for you guys if you want to go and have a wee look they have lots of gorgeous goodies on there seriously like you could spend a fortune <laughs> absolutely stunning products and I'm just going to go in with this one here with a wee swirl same with this one just add a wee bit of colour Um, what am I looking for? This. Put a wee bit of colour here. And make this wee flower here a wee bit orange. So you can see this is really, really fast. I would take more time um, if I wasn't on camera filming. But obviously you guys didn't want to sit and watch me taking hours doing a watercolour so there she is and she gorgeous put a wee bit of green in the centre of that could you imagine adding glitter to her hair and oh she's so nice okay then final touch for her I'm going to give her some nice bright red lips like that and I'm going to give her some oops some cheeks so always do it in like a wee triangle just start off and there we go just give it in a wee triangle like that clean the water brush from the green and then just take it over like that okay I will take it up in your hairline as well it looks a bit more realistic so mixing my pens up right they can go out the way and I'm going to quickly fussy cut now when I if I can find my scissors, what have I done with them? Oops. I don't know. We'll use these ones. Yeah. When I fussy cut her out, I leave a white border. You don't have to do that, obviously, but I just like to leave the white border around her. I think I just like it, guys. It's some stamps I do do it with other stamps I don't but because she's got like wispy bits of hair and things like that I think it's easier just to give her a white border rather than try and cut round like these wee bits you'd be here all day you would you would end up you would cut them off and it's a shame to do that so if you are planning to stamp her and cut her out I think she definitely lends herself to having a white border So you're just roughly going round and following the contour, like that. Take that out of the way. Flip this over. And then to merge it in, all I'm going to do as well is take the antique linen again. And this is just to take the white, you know, the starkness away from the white and make her blend in. Around the edge, like that. You see the difference it makes? It takes the white away. Let's bring this card back in and I'm going to set her right there in the centre. So it's a nice simple card but you feel like you've actually created it because you're stamping um, and you're distressing and then you're fussy cutting. It feels like you know you've actually created the card. But you have, but you know what I mean? You feel like you're not just sort of stamping and colouring, you feel like you've created it. That makes sense. Okay, so stick her down 
Oops, let's turn it over. Get a wee bit of pressure for a second. There we go. Doesn't that look beautiful? Straight away she stands off the page and that French script is gorgeous. So pop that there. Then I'm going to bring in the Be Unique stamp. Again, I've put it in the wrong way so it's sticking. Do you know, I was just thinking, I wasn't going to use the adorned border, but, because I didn't use it on the other card, but I've just had an idea. Here I go away on a tangent again, but I've got this one. Let's just take the ink, the excess ink off of the French script before I put it away. Take this one off of the block. Okay. And then I'm going to pop this the adorned border back on and I'm going to take jet black I just had this idea and I thought this is going to look cool so the jet black and let's just have it going off the page like that oh I like that that is really cool oh, that is cool to see I'm not even going to colour the flowers in I'm going to leave them the way they are and then I've got the other side and I'm going to have that coming off this side. Oh, I like that. It's just made it pop with the black. Oh, I really like that. Okay, I'm glad I've done that. So then I'm going to take the Be Unique stamp. Okay, I'm filming. Um, I'll be out in a minute, pal. Let's take the Be Unique and go back to the card that I was watercolouring on and I'm going to stamp this in the, what have I done with it, there it is, the Seedless Preserve again so that it matches in. And these stamps take the, um, the stress inks perfectly, I know some stamps will resist them but no, these are fine. Be unique. Let's just stamp that in there. Look at that. And that crown. Love it. Then I'm going to give it a wee dry because I will smudge it and I don't want this bit smudged. my why off but do you know what it's all right you'll be able to see from the other one that i've already made be unique like that and then let's take the antique one in again around the edge Still smudged a wee tiny bit, it wasn't completely dry, but that's all right. And then I'm going to take it around the edge like this. So you get nice and inky and mucky making this kind of card. Then I'm going to take our, take this. I'm going to take a wee bit more off because it's covering up too much of my flowers the way it is just now. There we go. And just stick this down as well. Or you could put this on the inside as your sentiment. I'm going to have it on the outside. And I'm just going to pop it down there. Be unique. Oh, 
And there you go. So there is the two variations of the card that I made. Pretty cool. And I mean, just for the, for the same stamp, they look different because one's watercoloured and I just love them. I wanted to share them with you guys. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Please talk to me in the comments and hit me a thumbs up and I will see you all again soon. Bye bye.